Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to pan sear fish. Fish is one of the easiest proteins to cook at home, but if you aren't familiar with fish, you might be a little bit intimidated. I'm giving you everything you need to know to start enjoying perfectly cooked fish at home. Now, unless you live on the ocean and regularly go fishing, you are likely headed to the grocery store to purchase your fish. Fish at the grocery store is usually either fresh, thawed from frozen, or frozen so you can thaw it yourself at home, and all of these can be good options. When purchasing fresh or thawed from frozen, you'll want to smell it. It should not have a fishy smell, which is what drives most people away from cooking fish at home. Smell it before you cook it, and if it smells bad, it is bad. You can pan sear any type of small fillet, which refers to an entire side of a fish, like tilapia or snapper, or you can pan sear fish portions where a larger fish has been cut up, like salmon or sea bass. Today, I'm using halibut portions. Use a sharp knife to trim the fish of any undesired skin. In much of the US today, you'll most likely find fish with the skin off. This cooking method that I'm showing you does not change whether you have the skin on or off. If you do leave it on, just be sure to sear it skin side first. You can marinate your fish with one of my many marinade options for 15 minutes. Don't ever marinate fish much longer than that. Or you can use a seasoning blend. Today, I'll use my favorite seafood blend, which goes great with any fish. You'll mix half a teaspoon of dried dill with half a teaspoon of lemon pepper, a quarter teaspoon of dried basil, a quarter teaspoon dried oregano, a quarter teaspoon onion powder, and a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. Give this a stir and then use that mixture to season both sides of the fish portions or fillets. Next, heat a heavy skillet over high heat. Once heated, add in about two tablespoons of olive oil and heat it briefly until it's shimmering. Lay your fillets or portions carefully into the hot oil and cook the fish two thirds of the way through. Now fish is easy because you can visually monitor the progress of the cooking by watching the color and translucency of the fish change. Once the fish is two thirds of the way cooked through, give it a flip and continue cooking until the fish flakes easily with a fork. Your actual cooking time will depend on how thick the filet is. A thicker filet or portion will need more time. So if you think your piece may need additional time, lower the heat to medium and continue cooking until it's done. I promise it's super easy to get the hang of cooking fish and you'll catch on really quickly. With any piece of fish, I always drizzle a little bit of lemon juice over the top just before serving. Thanks for watching. You can find this recipe and more in my cookbook, The Stay at Home Chef Family Favorites, where you can learn to make restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.